So welcome to Life and Pick Row. One of the biggest bugbears about gardening for many gardeners is mowing. Some people love it, some people hate it. We hate it. I mean really hate it. To the point that we think grass is just a weed. But what happens if you leave your grass alone? And you keep leaving your grass alone year after year. We're in the second year of that trial to see what will happen if we let our grass grow long. So let's go and have a look at it. So this is in our meadow. Well, technically it's not a meadow, it's our orchard. And under this hazel, which we're growing for rods at the moment. Uh, for those of you who don't know what rods are, that's for beans to grow up. So hazel poles, if you want to call them that. Uh, we've got creeping buttercup. Some people see that as a weed, but in the right place, it's a beautiful plant. And then something strange starts to happen. We have some daisies in there underneath our apple tree. Just to show you, we have noticed by leaving the grass to go along in the orchard that our production of apples has gone up considerably. And here we go. Daisies. Lots and lots of daisies and buttercups. These are all self-seeded in. Even the cockerel behind me likes it. Again, this is Keswick Codlin. It's absolutely brimful, brimful, brimful of apples. But by doing this, you start to see what works, what doesn't work. We have seen yellow rattle in here. But also, if you look down here, you can see the remains of vetch. Over there, just under the hedge, we've got some celadine. What we do have a lot of is a protuberance of this stuff. Uh, we don't know what it is, but the bees love it when it's in flower, so we leave it. It's not dock, because we've got dock there. As we go down, you can see we've got a drainage problem on this side of the orchard, so we're removing our trees next year from this side and placing them all down the left hand side. And then we've got this comfrey, loads and loads of comfrey, and buttercups, and it goes on. So is it worth letting your grass grow along? Well, we more puff in between, it makes it look nice. So we think it's worth it because we're getting higher crops on our apple trees. If you want to subscribe to Life from Pick Row, just click on the black icon in the bottom corner and you can subscribe to us and get updates and more about what we get up to. But if you don't want to do that, visit us on www.lifeonpigrow.co.uk. Until next time, bye bye.